one of the things that I'm constantly being asked by my friends back home or my family members is are you safe? Are you staying at home? Yes, obviously we want to stay safe. However, city life in Shanghai has returned mostly to normal. We actually have a lot of tools of, at our disposal that allow us to understand what is the virus presence in the city. And I'll show you a couple of them. We have 69,000 confirmed cases, but the tracker that I like the most is this one over here that tells you how many more a day have there been? I don't know why we're considering all the suspect cases, but that's the spike there. But even with the spike, you can see that the curve has already stagnated. At least in the last couple of days, the curve is not rising so high. There's another tracker. Let me show you here. Hey friends, I'm just fishing. There's a, an interesting app attached to WeChat a mini program that allows you to see where in China are there confirmed cases. It, it has information about what should you do to avoid contagion and all that, but then it tells you, depending on where you are, uh, it tells you the location of confirmed cases. This is really interesting because that allows you to see how many cases are there in China. And of course, all those 60, 68 or 69,000 in, in mainland China, they are being tracked here. So an answer for those of you asking, are you locked down at home, you don't get out? Everybody goes out, we go shop in the streets. Um, I will be going out today with my friend Victor and we're gonna take a stroll around the city. I'll try to get some footage for you and try to show you how everything is going back to normal. You know, I am an optimist. I usually tend to look at the silver lining and what is, what are the opportunities with this. I noticed a few vloggers that are vlogging about coronavirus and how is life in Shanghai. I'll absolutely try to contact them. We'll try to get together, maybe do a collab someday. I would definitely advise you to check out their content. They they share experiences. They they explain how is life in Shanghai and what are they doing. How are they coping with this virus? And, and that's what I like about this community. You get to learn so much. It is mandatory in Shanghai to use a mask when outdoors you cannot enter anywhere without a mask so yes I do have masks apparently they ran out in Shanghai but I did bring a, a few with me from Portugal the masks we're using are these surgical masks of course they do not contain hundred percent the um, the spread of infection they are used by medical professionals mostly uh, so that nothing goes into your mouth. I know that these are not as good as the N95 that control 95% of the particles coming in, but as long as nobody coughs into your face, you should be okay. The second item of protection is actually clear glasses. The idea is that the eyes are also another point of infection. If somebody sneezes on my face, I won't, I won't have those particles just moving in into my eyes directly. The third item that I always use, latex gloves. When you touch a surface that is contaminated, you, you don't carry that with you and, and if you don't have the opportunity to wash your hands at least you you are protected and and then you can just toss them away and the virus with it I, I know now you're gonna think I'm insane I'm gonna show you the, my fourth item and but this is absolutely last resort I would never take this outside unless we are in an extreme situation where I need to get out of the country because everything is collapsing and it's martial law kind of thing it's a real 100% protection mask and with um, with two light filters so I'm pretty sure I can isolate myself properly to get from here to the outside world in case martial law happens apart from that I would never put that thing in the street because that would just cause panic let's get ready and get out of here one of the bad things about this virus situation is that you get paranoid there was one guy who joined the elevator after me and he coughed and immediately my brain goes into panic mode like oh my god what if he has it I'm walking to meet my buddy Victor so we can have a burger and try to forget a little about all this situation if you have never tried a Shake Shack burger you have no idea what you're missing I'm actually I am hopeful it's open because I don't know if it's gonna be open today and it's about 2 p.m. this is a lovely park right nearby my house so this area here is actually one of the busiest intersections in Shanghai. It's home to the K11, it's home to the Apple Store, it's home to Tiffany's, and everything is concentrated here in this, to this crossroads. And it's usually super crowded. It just looks like it's still Chinese New Year. In a Sunday especially, it should be full of people, but obviously, for obvious reasons, people choose to stay at home. I've never seen Shake Shack this empty, which is pretty awesome.
what do you think about this uh, virus thing? This virus outbreak. Are you scared? <laughs> I was a little bit, but then I step out of the apartment. It's just fine. People yeah. Life going on. <laughs> yeah. Same feeling here. It's the panic just by staying at home, reading news. Everything that is related to coronavirus, if I read it on, on some website or I see some news about it, it's all about oh death oh it's gonna spread oh my god you can't like the the city's in lockdown it's not really like we just ate a burger at shake shack come on <laughs> if you can eat a burger at shake shack everything is okay <laughs> you don't need to worry <laughs> it's like deadly burger <laughs> these two guys like later on in the, in the hospital i'll let you know in a few weeks in a few in a few vlogs two, if, two if weeks, it worked two in two weeks. weeks i'll let you know if the burger was fine or not <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's okay. Like, whatever people say about China is all bullshit. I, I think that's actually a very common feeling amongst the vloggers. You were talking about that vlogger you shared that link with me. Yeah. All the new vloggers that I've been, I started to follow in the last few weeks. A few more green. I love this community trying to tell the world like listen don't stress it's not bad like we're fine and it's the same with me like i'm telling my family and my my parents don't worry like i'm okay it's perfectly safe to be here what you read in the news it's totally fake <laughs> <laughs> If you if you had the chance to see one of my latest vlogs, the one the Shanghai Secret, that's the best dumplings in Shanghai, and it's open. I think Starbucks are still closed, though. I would say that we have about 60% of the stores open. Things are coming back to normal really, really fast. I would say. I'm guessing that in a couple of weeks, everything will be back to normal. All right, time to go back home. All right, I just got home, that's it. This will probably be one of the last vlogs I make about coronavirus. It is unfortunate that Wuhan got hit so severely, but as you can see in Shanghai, things are pretty peaceful. Everything is working normally. I think the virus is under control. If you enjoyed it, please click subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.